got new shows every Sunday. And the rambling garage. What up, everybody? This is your boy, B-Rob, and I'm back with another edition of the Random Ramblings with Rob podcast. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you, the listener, for coming back each and every week or however you listen to podcasts. And if you're a first time listener, I'd like to thank you oh so much for giving my show a try. And if anybody recommended you to me, go on ahead and give that person a crisp high five. But if you're being social cautious and you don't want to slap hands with nobody, go ahead and take your cell phone or whatever have you and find your favorite social media app of choice and uh, send that person a well-crafted DM telling them thank you for recommending you to me. Speaking of social media, you can find the Random Ramblings with Rob on various social media platforms to include Twitter at 3R Show, Instagram at The 3R Show. Uh, I got some videos on TikTok, which pretty much mirror the Instagram. Search for 3R Show. You can see video interviews on YouTube by searching 3R Show. And for anything that I may have forgotten to mention, you can find it all on randomrob.com. Randomrob.com to where you will find our illustrious sponsor, Hooks Rubs and Spices. Go to hooksrub.com if you want to get 15% off your total order by using promo code random. Okay, so I'm kind of in a rush. It's a Monday evening as I record this. I got to prep and get ready to get on the road to go to work. But today, as I record this, marks the 14 year anniversary of me and Mrs. B-Rob. So that's kind of another reason that the episode is kind of late because we got into a whole bunch of shenanigans this weekend. Because also this past Friday, uh, as I record this, her birthday, Uh, she's a, a spry young lady. I'm not going to divulge her age. A lot of people already probably know it because I said it already on a RBR weekly wrestling talk. But I'm not going to double dip over here. (laughs) So happy birthday to Mrs. B-Rob and to happy anniversary. What makes today special, not only that is celebrating uh, our marriage of 14 years from the day that we went down to the courthouse in Savannah, Georgia and held hands with some cheap ass rings that we got on a whim from a kiosk in a mall just so we can go down to the courthouse and get married. But uh, today is an extra special day because I have finally been presented with a cookie cake. (laughs) I don't know if I got into it on this uh, pod before, but I know that at one point I was talking about that I have never received a cookie cake before you know no one has you know for a birthday or any other special occasion like that i never got a cookie cake before i'm not saying i never had you know i've never eaten it before i'm just saying that no one has given me one as a gift of celebration or anything like that so today um mrs b rob made me close my eyes walk into the kitchen You know, she led me in there because I know my house, but I don't know it that well, especially if somebody guiding you, you prone to run into some shit. But she had a big ass box on the counter, opened it up. Bam. Cookie cake for our anniversary presented to me by her. So it made today an extra special day because for the very first time I have been presented with an illustrious, beautiful, tasty cookie cake, which I'm about to chop up and take to me take with me to lunch tonight to chew on throughout the evening but yeah 14 years uh we we spun our time together because we happened to both be off watching she hulk finishing up the final season of a lock and key and just uh doing what we normally do just be in each other's presence and um Just kind of reflect and reminisce and everything. We had a candlelight dinner at the kitchen table last night on top of the AC going out here in hot ass Houston, Texas. So we were extra warm by that candlelight (laughs) and everything. But um, yeah, 14 years is gone in the blink, you know. So matter of fact, as Hello. What what is that on your shirt? It says in memory of when I cared. Oh, well, come come in here. Hello, Governor. This small child on the mic with us. Hey, yo, 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 what's up? <laughs> uh, 
do you know what today is? It is your anniversary. For however many years. 14. That's longer than you've been alive. Yes. So did you love each other a lot? Did did she tell you how you were born? Like the circumstances of uh, your uh, you decided to be created? Well, you see. Uh, no, I'm not talking about like <laughs> the, the the method of how it's done. I'm talking about like when she decided that she wanted to have a child. You're like, I want you to experience motherhood, and she's like. Mm, uh, mm. And then she was like, okay. No, it wasn't so much that. Here, get a little closer so we can pick you up on the mic. <laughs> oh, so, damn, she heard me. Ooh. Ooh, you well, no, nah, nah, I'm not lying. You're going to get in trouble. No, nah, you, you can validate. You can validate. You're going to get in trouble. So, um, a little over 14 years ago, uh, we were dating and everything. And all that stuff, Children. and a conversation was had to where I mean, on the whim, and this is my perspective of it as well. So I was just bullshitting because we were so early on in the relationship. I just kind of wanted to see where her head was. She already know that I had two kids from a previous marriage and everything. So I just wanted to see where her headspace was, and you know, kind of test out the relationship because we were so new into it at the time. I was like, hey. In two years, will you have a baby for me? And her response was what? Come on, you can get in close to the mic and you can tell everybody. And my response was, how do you know we're going to be together in two years? <laughs> you know, and I, I think I've had some, kind, you know, my memory is shit anyway. Uh, but I think I had some witty responses to where like, I mean, that's not answering the question or something like that. So, you know, two years later. You know, we done got married and everything. She decided that she wanted to have a child. Me. Yeah, so because at the, you know, between that two year span, we wind up getting married. My older two kids would come to live with us, and you know, she got a dose of the motherhood and everything. And then two years later, I don't know, you know, if it was on the dot or anything, but it was within the two year span, she decided that she wanted to have young child here. Little gremlin baby. So. Yeah, that's that's how th that's how you were decided upon. And then she had a beach ball belly, and I didn't want to leave. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to be birthed. <laughs> yep. I was like, nah, I want to stay in here. I want to do nothing. Did you Did you see our anniversary gift? Well, the anniversary gift she gave to me. Yeah, the cake. Yeah. So that was another part of this thing that I've never been given a cookie cake before. Dang. You mind if I eat it all? <laughs> and that's what I said earlier when she gave it to me that the small child was going to wind up eating it all. Cookie cake. Yes. But thank you for participating in our anniversary recording. Um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off so I can go ahead and go to work. Um, yeah. But thank you for stopping by. Did you tell the people of the podcast world the listeners what the cookie cake said? Mm. Oh, yes. Um, Mrs. B. Rob wanted me to uh, inform you all of what the cookie cake said. She got an inscription put on it or whatever. It said, happy 14th anniversary. And it said, hashtag, what, what was that? You are surviving. You are surviving. <laughs> <laughs> which, is, yeah. which is kind of funny because uh, Young Child's birthday was not too long ago, last month. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we got her a cookie cake for her birthday. See? It wasn't presented to me. It was presented to her. So my, my children can get cookie cakes, but I wasn't good enough at the time to get a cookie cake from, for any of my, of my celebrations. But anyway, we, we resolved that. Now, we ain't talking about that no more. So we went to Vegas the month prior to, you know, her birthday and everything. And it was her first time going to Vegas. Uh, Mrs. B-Rob, first time going to Vegas and everything. And uh, went to, what was that, New York? New York or whatever the New York place. whatever casino that was I forget the name of it but they have the roller coaster there mm -hmm. young child has never been on a roller coaster in her life before and um, she does this thing that kind of irritates me a little bit <laughs> but whenever she's nervous or you know just in trouble like you know she getting the verbal berating and everything she start giggling and shit gets on my nerves makes me think she disrespects me I want to whip her ass <laughs> but now um, we coax her into getting on a roller coaster 
and she, I'm she, in danger. So she was uh, against it, but we made her do it anyway because we're parents and you do what the fuck we say. Um, so we get on the roller coaster and we ride and we doing all the things and I can hear her screaming behind me, I lived 11 years for nothing. I, 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 you know, I got excited for a movie for nothing. Yeah, so yeah, she, you know, screaming all kinds of crazy things and whatnot. So for her birthday cake, her cookie cake, we put on the uh, on the front, uh, happy tw- happy birthday, you survived or something like that. Happy 12th birthday. Yeah, happy 12th birthday, you. you survived 12 years. <laughs> That's the perfect gift I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a thing in this household about us surviving, whether it's um, a spouse not killing us <laughs> or just like we not meeting uh, mortal peril or anything like that so <laughs> but yeah that is it I just wanted to go ahead and get this out there and uh, wish Mrs. B. Rob a happy birthday and a happy anniversary uh, and um, get this episode out there so once again thank you for joining me uh, if you want a dose of professional wrestling once weekly live on Wednesday nights go ahead and join us for RBR Weekly Wrestling Talk you can find us now on Twitch. We made the um, transition from Mixler.com forward slash fan off to twitch.tv forward slash RBR wrestling. So join us on Twitch and everything. We found that there was a much more pleasant experience, uh, both from a technical standpoint and our audio clarity. So uh, Twitch is probably the new home for RBR live moving forward. So uh, once again, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you next time.